Good evening. Today I'm going to talk about robots. This is a human robot. It is smarter than any living thing in the whole wide world. It is waterproof and fireproof. It will not get any damage. It could also go in space by flying with its boosters. This is the Cana Arm 2. It, the Cana Arm 2 is a robot. The, it, the Cana Arm helps the astronauts fix or repair their ship. This is an, an snake robot. It's one of the snake robots. It's called a Serpinite robot also. It is made out of steel. A Serpinite has six legs. If they did not have those six legs, they would not, couldn't walk. This is an electricity robot. It, it works. I will just show you for one second. And you might see here the electricity is turning on because there are lots of wires at the back that are working on for. This is a mechanical scorpion snake robot. It is used to go to Mars. If it, sees, it stays there for 30 years. If it sees any living life form, it will alert the space station and the space station will capture the uh, living life form. These two robots are one, these two robots are models. This one is a, a fighting robot and this one is a peace robot. The first cannon arm that has been used was ex has exploded, so that's why there is the cannon arm too. I hope you learned something from our project. And we have one per question. Brad, are robots useful? Yes, they are. Yes, they are in many ways. And if you have heard all about what we said, now please learn this and t think about something. Our, our, uh, if you have a robot at home, would you like to use it for some kind of reason? Thank you for listening.